Yo, what's good, bro? Good morning, afternoon, evening. I don't know when you're watching this, but I hope you get some value out of it. I was thinking about this the entire time during my like morning solitude practice, okay? A meaningful mission, right? A meaningful purpose requires you to become someone who is yet to be developed. Think about that. A meaningful mission and a meaningful purpose requires you to become someone who is yet to be developed. I realized this back in April of 2022, okay? At that point, I had been running this YouTube channel for six months, five or six months, and maybe seven months even. And I was trying to talk about like self-improvement and discipline, mental toughness, mental fortitude. But while running this YouTube channel, because I knew kind of like what I wanted to build, I was still smoking weed all the time. I was still eating junk food every single day, not just eating it, binging it, binge eating junk food. I was wasting all my time playing video games. I was wasting all my time just doing nothing, okay? And I was fully out of alignment with who I wanted to be. And not only that, who I had to become in order to cultivate the lifestyle that I wanted to live, all right? And when I really took a deep look at the lifestyle I was living, the way that I was living, the way I was conducting myself, the morals and the values I was holding myself to, the standard I held myself to, it was not... (laughs) it wasn't in alignment. It wasn't enough. It wasn't, it wasn't right. Okay. I didn't feel right. I didn't feel like I was doing the right thing. And that was fully out of alignment with integrity, which is now one of my core values. So how did I define the person I had to become in order to attract the lifestyle I wanted to live? And this is a never ending process. Okay. So I'm at a point now where I'm living the dream lifestyle of me eight, nine months ago. But now I have a dream lifestyle and I have to become another person in order for that to happen. But let me explain the process because I've learned a legitimate like blueprint for building that vision of that person and then becoming it. So I'm going to explain it very, very quickly. This is my whole process, bro. I'm going to explain the whole thing. I'm going to give you the whole game. It starts, define everything you want to become in terms of appearance, actions, energy and demeanor, career, everything you want to become. What do you want to feel on a day-to-day basis? What do you want to do on a day-to-day basis? What do you not do on a day-to-day basis? What do you look like? What is the best version of you in every aspect? And the way to define what the most fulfilling version of you would look like is what do you respect and admire in other people? Look at other people be like, damn, I, I, he looks like someone I would want to look like. That person holds themselves to the standards and values that I would want to hold myself to. That per- And you can also look at it as jealousy. What are you jealous of in other people? What do you envy in other people? Take those things and define them very, very clearly, okay? When you do that, next thing you have to do is build a daily process that is particularly difficult for you that is in alignment with the things that you just defined in the last step, all right? So the easiest way is reverse engineer all of those things. What do you want to look like? What do you want to act like? What do you want to feel? What do you want to do, right? Reverse engineer all those things into daily tasks and write them down and make sure that there's something that is actually difficult for you to do. Things that normally would seem daunting to you, but you write them down as a thing that is like, non-negotiable. This is something I have to do every single day. And you force yourself to take care of them. And over time, as you take care of those things every single day, and you keep your, your focus aligned on the person that you want to become, if you're, if everything's in alignment, you will slowly start to transform into that person. And then the way you hold yourself accountable is every single morning, you look, you reflect, you write a little reflecting journal, you write a reflection on What did I do yesterday that I regret? What did I do yesterday that isn't in alignment with who I want to become and the actions that I wrote out? You reflect on that. And then what did I do yesterday that I'm proud of? What did I do yesterday that is in alignment with the person I want to become and the the actions that I wrote out, the vision that I created? You write both of those things and then you get it the next day. Or sorry, you get it today, right? So what did I regret? What was I proud of and how can I use that in order to realign today, become even more aligned today? It's all in alignment. So if you have a very, very clear vision 
You reverse engineer it into actions and then you reflect on it every single day and continue to realign and realign and realign and refine and get closer and closer to who you actually want to be on a day-to-day basis and living through that person, you win. I've done this now for eight-ish months and I've transformed my entire life. 60 pounds down, finally in control of the way that I act and conduct myself. I live in alignment with all my core values. I trust myself completely. I have confidence, like true internal confidence where it's like I trust myself to follow through on what I tell myself. It comes from clarity. Clarity followed by action. Clarity followed by action followed by reflection. And then repeat. I really hope this video helped you. I tried to make this as concise and clear as possible, so I really hope it helped you. Please apply it. Please apply what I was talking about because that whole shit that I just explained changed my whole life. And going forward, it will continue to change my life. I really hope this helped you. Scroll down, hit subscribe, check my Instagram, etc., etc. I hope you have a good day, evening, morning, whatever. Take care.